Hi, my name is Jose with Century 7, and I just wanted to take a few minutes here to go over the first draft of the redesign for DubboxUSA.com. And when you first come to the site, of course, the most striking thing that you're going to see is the full page background that is animating in. Uh, you get different slides that come in, and what they're doing right now is they're just kind of using random animation is what they're doing. We're also animating in some text content right here. This is just an H1 tag that we're animating in. As you see, you can actually select that text content. We use as much text content as we can in an attempt to keep the file sizes small. The less images that we use are better. That way the site downloads faster and that allows us to do things like have full images for a full background images for a slideshow here. We, the logo here is square and pretty tall and the reason is is because when we've got this down when we actually have shrunk this down any further than this we lose a lot of detail on that logo so we've went ahead and kept it this size and to give it some parity instead of using a horizontal layout here for the menu we've used a vertical one and we've stacked styling right here at the moment this color scheme can certainly change that's that's not locked into place at all so you know just an example we've got space down here more stuff could be animated in this could be made smaller we're on a 1366 by 768 screen right now so as you can see this will fill a pretty large size screen good size images that you, uh, you guys had on your site so it, we had a lot of good stuff to, to begin this process quality media to begin with. As we scroll down further on the page, you're going to notice a lot of white space. And the reason that we have all this white space here, we do this in design nowadays, very easy on the eyes, very easy to flow and concentrate on one piece of content to the next. It's just really, really easy on the eyes. And that's the reason that we do that. We use large fonts now. We don't make it contrast too much, but of course, make it very, very easy to read. We've ported in all the information home page here and we've added some widgets down here at the bottom is what we have these are known as widgets here's a fa here's your guys's Facebook feed ported in here a uh, quick copyright down here at the bottom and we've got our we've got our Facebook Twitter and RSS feeds here this is basically a blog feed WordPress is a blogging platform so you have some pretty impressive blogging capabilities built right in here and we will be creating training videos showing you how to do that showing you how to change these slides out up here and stuff like that I'm going to take you to a static page now I'm just going to go and take you to the about us page right here I call it static because we're using a static header up here just an example image right here we can go ahead and change that out not a problem these pages are formatted with a heading we've got a border right below the heading we have a content area down uh, down here then we have a widgetized sidebar over here once again these are widgets here's some text widgets and you can add text widgets in there for text content Twitter feeds you could move the Facebook feed up here if you wanted to there's a lot of stuff that you can add here from your blog you can add recent posts, recent comments. There's just a, a lot of stuff that you can add as widgets. And there are a lot of plugins out there for WordPress. So if you think of a widget or some Thing that some type of function that you would like to have um, either in your site or some type of widget that you would like to be able to plug in here to your sidebar just let us know because um, we can we can probably find something <laughs> if not we can we can probably uh, actually code it it probably wouldn't take that long so anyway um, this site is responsive just wanted to let you know that so and what that means is as you'll see as I move this over here you're gonna see everything is now readjusting itself and resizing itself and reformatting itself and now everything's laid on top of each other and we've got a menu here that is now activated by a click because on touch screens we don't have hover states so um, one thing that you will notice is this bar up here um, it's kind of intrusive and it is only there when you're logged into the WordPress administrative interface so when people come to your site they will not see this bar just to let you know that the only reason that it's there right now is because I am logged into the administrative interface so Anyway, that's just a quick overview of what the site looks like and uh, all of the stuff just to let you know this content right here is very easily changed through a point and click interface with uh, functions on it that are very similar to Microsoft Word. Very easy to use. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us. Um, we will be creating a custom video training library that will show you how to make a lot of changes to your site and we'll also be explaining some other layout features and as we go along in the revision process we'll probably have some other videos to for us to explain what's going on as we're doing the revisions. Thank you.